Hey, hey, Cam's here with a book review of a book that's not a Russian classic, nor is it Soviet history. It's a horror novel, in translation from the Spanish. Our Share of Night by Mariana Enriquez. This is part of a book club read that I'm doing with Elizabeth Turnbull over on Plant Based Bride, her channel, which I'll put a link to down below. This was the pick for March. And she spun The Wheel of Destiny and the theme of translation came up for March. So this was the book that was picked. It's not a book I would have picked up otherwise had I not been in a book club. So I'm enjoying it very much being in this book club and getting to read things I wouldn't probably have read. From the International Booker Prize shortlisted author of The Dangers of Smoking in Bed. So she has credentials, this author, and... I haven't read The Dangers of Smoking in Bed. Perhaps I will, though, after having read this, because I loved it. Yes, I did. I'm going to put that out there and not bury the lead. It's a four-star book. Solid four stars. Full of horror, yes. Some of it very graphic and disturbing. So that's out there. But I was thinking this morning when I finished it, it's interesting how horror novels are not quite as disturbing, I find, as horror movies. Why is that? If some of the scenes I just read about were depicted on screen, I'm sure I would find them far more disturbing than I did in my own imagination. What does that say about me? I don't know. It follows a family. The main character, Gaspar, and his father, Juan, and his mother, Rosario. It's basically about Juan, who has certain talents. He's a medium, and these talents allow him to access the darkness, which is a place of power, a place of evil, a place of, well, darkness. And he gets taken on by a family called the Bradfords in Argentina, one of the most affluent, richest families in Argentina. And he gets there by way of being sold by his parents. His parents are destitute. It's set during the time of the dictatorship in Argentina. Uh, poverty is rife. His parents are struggling. And they basically sell their son to the Bradfords in exchange for money. So he ends up being operated on. And it's then that the discovery is made that he has talents. So the family take him on, they raise him as a medium, and they want basically to take advantage of his talents so that they can access the darkness and get the benefits that that will bring them. So that's the scene. Juan has a son with Rosario. Rosario is a member of this affluent family, and he gets brought in, that's how this all starts with the story of Gaspar and Juan sets out to do all that he can to protect Gaspar from the family because the family will at some point want to pass on Juan's talents to the son because the son will have inherited those talents and Juan wants to protect his son from the family so that's really what the premise of the book is all about and we follow the family over different time periods. We get to follow Juan and the son when Gaspar is a young boy as they travel to visit the family for the first time or for Gaspar to visit for the first time to the home in Puerto Reyes in Argentina. Then we follow further back in time. We get to see Juan and Rosario as young students as they find their way in the world and get an education and they learn how to use some of Juan's talents and we get to learn about how Juan has been manipulated by the family so that they can use his talents. And then we get to read my favourite section, which is when Juan and Gaspar are living together in Buenos Aires. Uh, Rosario is no longer on the scene. And 
Gaspar hangs about as a young boy with his pals, Pablo, Vicky and Adela. And that, that whole section really reminded me of Stephen King's It with the Losers Club. That was my favourite section of the book, just following these kids as they run around. There's a haunted house, there's relationship stuff going on. Uh, there's a really nice scene where Gaspar does a nice thing for Adela, which I won't spoil for you, but that, that's one of my favourite scenes in the book when he gives her a gift that's, that's quite special. And then we follow them later on as Gaspar becomes older and we follow his life as an older man as he learns to deal with the situation in which he finds himself and then later on as things unfold. So I won't go into any more detail than that. So as I've said, the, the horror in the book is dark. So just beware of that. There's some child sacrifice, there's some lots of child abuse which is pretty horrific there's some drug taking in it there's lots of sex there's lots of relationship stuff which is very well done lots of poetry as well which i quite enjoyed and the ending is satisfying i'll just say that i would like it to have perhaps lasted another 50 pages or so because as i was getting towards sort of 30 pages to go, I was thinking when are they going to wrap this up, you know so it's really in the last 30 pages that we get the ending it's well done it's, it's, yeah we get enough detail, the loose ends are tied up nicely, although I would like to have had a bit more information about Rosario in particular I feel that that could have been fleshed out a bit more But so whoever nominated this for Elizabeth's Book Club, thank you. A solid pick. I've given it four stars. I think I said that at the beginning. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I will put a link down below if you want to have a look at Elizabeth's Book Club because it's really good. I'm looking forward to the discussion at the end of the month on Elizabeth's Zoom call over on Patreon. Might be a quiet one because I know some people dropped out because, you know, horror's not for everyone. <laughs> So it could be a quiet Zoom call, I don't know. But I'm looking forward to discussing it because I did thoroughly enjoy this book. I recommend it. It's a solid four stars. Thanks for watching. And next time we might be back with some Russian classics or some Soviet history, some Russian history or a Clockwork Orange, which I'm reading right now as another book club read for March. So... Look for that coming soon. Thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.